Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, it's Bumper here. Today we're going to be doing a HMV hunt. I haven't done a hunt video in so long, I've missed doing it. I know there's a sale on some um, 88 film stuff, not much I don't think. But I know and then it's the 4Ks, 3 for 30 and stuff. So yeah, I'm going to go to HMV now and I'll take you along and we'll see what we get. Cheers. Okay, so at the front of the store we got some Halloween stuff. We got these nice horror license plates street side type things but they were only a bit of cardboard so i didn't think they represented good value really we've got the usual pop selection we've got these sort of stage set ones of wonder vision and then we've got all the american snacks if you want to remortgage your house for a bag of m m's mike and ike jolly ranchers love jolly ranchers mind all right then we got some new stuff on tv here like the flash there's the Clash of the Castle there that took place in Cardiff. Ghost stories. Hmm, this looks interesting. I wonder what this is all about by the BBC. Hmm, come back to that one. Cobra Kai, Lucifer, Peacemaker, all your usual stuff, really. There's some films. Sonic, Red Rocket, that's a good film. Jeepers Creepers Reborn, Where the Crawdads Sing, Bullet Train. <clears throat> so these are all the new releases, obviously. we got some... Scooby-Doo exclusive for Halloween. Some cool X-Men figures. Not that I collect them, but they always look dope. Cool Wonder Woman there with like a metal uh, mask on. Helmet, sorry. Gold helmet. Some Stranger Things bump. And then we just got sort of a, a spontaneous buy type of board there. With bullet train on and where the crawdads sing. Some odds and sodger, some money off some of these films, nothing much taking my fancy, Spencer's okay, House of Gucci, uh, Sing 2 is alright for five ninety nine. dollars we've got the Amusement Park here, the George A. Romero Lost Film, uh, Vortex by Gaspar Noe, stars Dario Argento, pretty cool um, cover on that one, this is from 88, A Cradle for the Devil, looks amazing, lovely set. And we got this um, lovely right and wrong set here, limited edition. I would like to get this, but you can get the movie on 4K from Vinegar Syndrome. So I'm caught in two minds at the moment. Now, this is a beast, this one. The Paranormal Activity set. Again, I would like to get this. Wicked set. Um, box is a bit thin on the outside. £60. And how many films you get in there? Eight. So not too bad, really, then, I don't suppose. I just got some other bits and bobs here, some America genre film archives, some Criterions. There's that Drive My Car, there's that new documentary on Pennywise. I wouldn't mind seeing that, actually. I do like a documentary. Red Rock West, I know everyone's been picking this up lately. I haven't grabbed it yet, but um, wait for a price drop on that one. And then we got this cool pop vinyl here, Pearl Jam, all together. So this is cool, and they start doing those. I got a Cypress Hill one. Um, some 4K here, just... On offer, two for 30 or 19.99 is the Lost Boys' is raw deal. Star Trek, Bullet Train. So there's a Video Nasty section here, but when you look a little bit closer, they're not actually Video Nasties, they're just normal horror films. So I suppose they're just rifting on the word Video Nasty. Nice box set there. Eight films on DVD. I Saw the Devil, great film. The Craft, £3.49, not bad. Sleepaway Camp, The Purge, some nice DVDs of Halloween and stuff with nice slips, limited edition slips. Then you've got these figures on offer. Some of them are down to as low as um, $7.99. Again, I wouldn't really know if this represents good value or not because I'm not into collecting figures. But um, yeah, that's a cool one. All right, then it's just a 4K section. I've got to be honest. It's all the same stuff that you see in any HMV that I see in here all the time. It's difficult to differentiate what's in the sort of 2 for 24 like that one or the 3 for 30 or the 2 for 30. I wanted to get some John Carpenter movies in 4K, but it's a bit of a hodgepodge because the thing is in the 3 for 30 and so is um, Prince of Darkness. But then They Live and Escape from New York is in the 2 for 30. So no, it's a bit of a pain in the ass really. And I've already got the fog, so I don't need that one. Um, yeah, so just the standard stuff, like I said, there's no real nice limited editions jumping at me that we haven't already seen.
going to the bottom now. I think there was a um, one copy of Video Drone from Arrow. I'm waiting for my son to come in the post, and I've had a letter from the postman to say he's gone back to the post office, so I won't be able to get it till tomorrow either, which is a bit of a pain. See, there's some of the John Carpenter ones there. They live in the thing. Some Transformers. And there's that video drone from Arrow there. Sorry, I should have given you a closer look, but I only spotted it when I was putting the uh, um, dialogue on over the top. So here's your Arrow releases again. The end of all the same that you see every time you come in here with the odd new one slammed in between. I'm just having a look at some of the prices. See if there's any sales on $17.99, $14.99, $14.99. No, so they don't seem to be. There's Demonio. I want to get this one sooner rather than later. That's 30 notes. So I got some arrow points to spend about 20 quid's worth. I might use them on the grudge box set because it's so expensive. Uh, there's some of your box sets here. Giallo one. Uh, there's Hell High. Cool slip on that one. $17.99. Or Raging Fury alternative title if you bought it directly from the arrow store. Now there's the house box set. I still don't own that. Uh, the ring set. I wouldn't mind watching Ringu again. I've got to be honest, a Japanese one. Um, I must have watched it on Terrible Quality years ago because I've seen a clip for it on Shudder's 101 Scariest Moments in Horror and the quality looked really nice. So I really want to watch that film again in a higher definition. Uh, there's Shock there. Or Beyond the Door 2. Yeah, like I said, just the usual, the usual arrow, arrow titles, really. I mean, they've always got them in here. Oh, there's two witches there, 79 dollars I wouldn't mind grabbing that. And there's video drone there, but that's just their standard Blu-ray. Okay, then we just got some um, Arrow Academy stuff. And then we're on to BFI. There's a nice title there, All My Friends Hate Me. And I haven't really got much of the Arrow Academy stuff, to be honest, or BFI stuff. I've got a nice Tales from the Hood double set from there. There's Nosferatu. That looks a nice one, mind. I don't know if it's been redone in colour or whether it's always looked like that. It's not a film I've seen, Nosferatu. I'm, I would grab that one, I've got to be honest. That's a good one. And then we got your premium collection here then. Uh, they were, they're 2 for 25 now rather than 2 for 15. Still good value, mind. 12 and 50 each for everything you get with them. Uh, there's Deadly Games out of place there because that's an Arrow release. So again, I think they're all the same titles that you're used to seeing. And they stopped um, producing films on this label now. So I don't, obviously you won't get any new ones. Good selection though. Fair play, you know. This is a good film unit by Steven Spielberg. I wouldn't mind that one. Oop, I nearly went on the floor. Possessed. Pretty in Pink, good film. There's Running on Empty that um, Andy at Forgotten World of Movies always champions as a great film. I'll get it one day. Uh, there's a bit of Shaft. Wouldn't mind getting that one day as well. And this, if you're going to get Shaft, you've got to have your Superfly. Criterion done Shaft now, so that would be the way I went probably if I was to get that film. Urban Cowboy. Um, then we're on to the 88 then. So there's Absurd, the video Nasty, All the Deceased Except the Dead, the Italian Collection. I think that's a fairly new one. American Ninja, Anaconda, Bad Dreams on the Slasher set, or Slasher Collection, sorry. <clears throat> Some good Jackie Chan on 88, Dragon Fist there. Cannibal Terror. Beware My Brethren, an 88 new one. A nice slip, eyeball, hatchet for the honeymoon, limited edition set, set still available. And there's a carried on up here then, there's a few more. Night of the Demon there, that's good offer that is, um, two for 15 for that. That's a brilliant film for seven pound fifty. Doll of Satan, that looks pretty cool as well with a slip. Pagini Hover, that's got your slip still as well. Zombie Highs in the two for 15. Uh, it's not, I suppose it's not new anymore, but um, it hasn't been out too long, so that's a good deal. And then there's a couple more there at the end. I won't bother with the Criterions. Uh, we got some 101s then. 
a bit a bit varied really drug stories on the Agfa label. Well, I say varied, you've got Agfa, you've got black label, red label, limited editions, non-limited editions, all a bit thrown about. The last broadcast, pretty decent for nine ninety nine. Sometimes Aunt Maria does dreadful things, or Aunt Martha does dreadful things. Snowtown, that's a really messed up movie, gets under your skin. Oh, there it is, Treasure of the Ninja. <laughs> With bruised knee and smacky chin. <laughs> yeah, I've got some network stuff here now. I, I haven't got any network, I don't think, but um, they do the films I like. Uh, they're the thin cases, though, but, you know, whatever, I guess. The Monster Club, that's the one I want to see. The Anthology with Vincent Price. It's only a tenner, so not bad. Some more impulse buys here, or whatever you call these sort of random shelves. Yardy, that's pretty decent with Idris Elba, he directed it as well. Uh, Petite Manan, this is the film of the year section so far, so Petite Manan, definitely one of the films of the year, check that out. So you've got your horror section here. The top row is the end of the DVDs before we get to the Blu-rays. It bugs me, man, because they got some wicked films on DVD, like this year, Trick or Treat, but it's just... Too expensive, like DVDs. I know this might sound a bit cheap, but they should be two ninety nine. Like, gotta be fair. When you can get them in the charity shop for so cheap, cheap. The town that's sh the town that dreaded sundown. That's a really good remake. <laughs> that's a really good remake. One of the best, actually. If you've never seen it, plenty of boobs in it as well. If you like that sort of thing, your next. That's a great film. Ah, the ABCs of death. That's on a um unusual label. That I think it's monster something. I got a um, Human Centipede 3 on that label, I think. This is cooler beyond. Why have I seen this before? Not the film itself, but the, the release is like a clear case, like transparent. It looks really cool. I don't know if that's a new release or a limited edition or what. I'm not sure. I'm kind of holding it for 4K. That's the only thing. Another bit of fault, you though. Is that Craft 3.49? You can't fault that. Got the various Evil Dead movies. Firestarter there, the new one with Zach Efron. I know it hasn't had rave reviews, but you can get it with a slip for nine ninety nine. so not too bad, really. Men, that's a pretty good movie, but I got my eye on the 4K media book. Um, Psycho Gorman, you had a Shudder movie. There, it looks, a couple of these Shudder movies are on deal at nine ninety nine. A couple of them are good. That one's pretty good, Bells are buff. You wouldn't, I wouldn't mind getting The Dark and the Wicked is good. Terrified is amazing. Um, Tigers Are Not Afraid is the best of them all. We'll have a look at the horror DVDs. Like I said, they do so many good titles. Here's the very first Art of Clay movie here, All, all Hallows' Eve, and its sequel, even though Art's not in the sequel. But I just don't like spending like eight, nine, ten quid on the DVD. Better watch out the Christmas movie, that's cool as. The Blair Witch there with a nice limited edition slipcover for Halloween. I'm telling you, man, like I said, if they ever done DVDs down to two ninety I'd have a field day in there. But, you know, like their Firestarter, £7 on DVD. I'd rather just pay the extra £2 and get the Blu-ray. There's the H2O Halloween 6 and Resurrection set there. If you haven't got the 140 for the Screen Factory set, well, about 110 actually, you can get it for a tenner instead on DVD, which I actually wouldn't mind if I become desperate to watch those films and I can't get the Screen Factory so I can't afford it. I will just buy that. So you won't get the producer's cut, I doubt, though. That's the only thing of six. Uh, just your usual bump there. Nightmare on Elm Street, ten ninety nine now for the box set. So not too bad, but it's all DVD, obviously. And then we just got some odds and sods, some like little horror cuddly toys here, horror plushes. And then just some mugs and whatnot. And I think that's about it, really. So saying that, there was one more section um, entitled Video Nasty. Again, and these are a bit more nasty. So you've got some 88 slasher classics on you. You've got some red cover shameless releases. And then these are just the boys here that you get for like, if you spend a pound, get it for like 9 99 or whatever. Okay, so as always, I picked up more than I was going to. I got nine titles. So We'll take a moment now and I'll unbox them on the table because one or two of them are limited edition sets. So we'll see what we get inside. All right, cheers. Hey, everyone. So I'm back from my haul now from HMV. So we'll have a little look at what I bought. All right, first up then, we got some sale stuff. Cheapest chips, £3.49. The Craft 
legacy. So I haven't seen this film. It was ripped to shreds by critics. I love the original, but the fact it's got um, David Duchovny in it, um, yeah, I'm going to give it a sh I'm going to give it a go. A three bang forty nine to add to the collection. Sit nice against the original, so yeah, that's fine. Then this one, this was a recommendation from Cinema Axeman a long time ago. I've kept my eye on it, and now it's come down to seven ninety nine. Lovely black case, so that's retroactive. All right, so this is like a time travel murder mystery. Uh, that's about all I know about it, to be honest. It's got James Belushi in and um, Kylie Travis. So yeah, I look forward to sitting down and watching that one. Happy days. Then this label here, Monster Pictures, I hadn't heard of it before, but I grabbed um, Human Centipede 3 on the label when I was at the film festival, and I noticed now they've got ABCs of Death. So I grabbed this one as well from HMV, it's only $8.99. I have seen this one a long time ago. I remember D for Dogfight is a really good one, and L for Libido is a bit messed up. But yeah, I look forward to sitting down and watching these again. I got this when it was in the sales. I do collect anthology movies. I haven't got the second one, but um, that'll be next on the list. All right, then another one. I got the first one, so I thought I may as well get the second one. This is in the 101 films. It's in a sale, $5.99, Ghoulies 2. All right, like I said, I got the same label, 101 films of the first one. So I may as well get this one to sit nicely on the shelf. I will watch it. The first one was terrible, mine. Nothing like I remembered it being. But um, yeah, we'll check this one out as well. And then there were some 88 films that were two for 15 rather than just in a sale. So first one I grabbed was Pigs. All right, this is a 1972 horror movie. I've heard awesome things about this, and I'm always tempted to buy it in the, um, I don't know if it's on Severin or Vinegar Syndrome. I think it's Severin in their sale, but it's still double the price. So I thought if I just get this now on 88 films, at least it um, will put, you know, it'll save me money in the long run because I won't buy it off them. And I'm sure it's just a similar good a transfer anyway. So yeah, this is, um, yeah, like I said, 88 films. Then there's a vault from the vault or something. It's got a number on the side, number three. I don't really know much about that side of it, but hey-ho. And the other one I got for 2 for 15 was from their Slasher collection, and it's New Year's Evil. Again, I've never seen this film. I don't even think I'd heard of it until recent times when seeing it in the shop. I know people have watched them and said it was good. I think, again, um, Cinema Axe Man or Andy's Forgotten World of Movie said it was all right. Um, looks like an old-school slasher, my cup of tea. I think it's the first time it's been on Blu-ray, so it's a bit obscure. So, yeah, it's got a slip cover and everything. Sure, I'm looking forward to checking that one out. And then this one... This was $16.99 originally, it's down to $9.99, and you've got the booklet and everything with it. It's a limited edition set, it's on the 101 black label, and it's the last broadcast. So wicked artwork on it. i never heard of this film, or I've never seen it. It's got like, I think it's like a fame footage, Blair Witchy type thing. But um, yeah, there's all your specs there. And then there's the spine, like I say, it's one of the black labels. Let's we'll see if we can get into this one quickly. The cellophane feels a bit loose, so we should be all right. All right then, so here's the rigid case, not as solid as some of them, but for a tanner, not going to complain. Book looks really thick actually. The Jersey Devil. Yeah, so I think it's about some people who go into the woods um, trying to prove the legend of the Jersey Devil after a party went missing a few years before. Maybe one of the guys related or something like they do in the Blair Witch reboot. I'm not sure, but... Um, Looks pretty good. I'm definitely going to check it out very soon. And then there's the the box art. Then you've got a different um, artwork on the cover there. Oh, there goes the box on the floor. What really happened that night in the woods? So yeah, it sounds pretty intriguing. I've got to be fair. I'm actually looking forward to watching it. Nice artwork inside there. Take the disc out and have a quick butchers. Yeah, there we are. Looks really cool. It's got a number on it, then 023. So again, I don't know much about the various labels. Maybe this is 23 on the black label. I'm not what you'd call a collector, but I grab the films I like the look of. All right, then on last, I've got two 4Ks, okay? I find it a bit difficult at HMV where they don't split out their three for 30s. And you don't know what's on the offer, what's not. But I had a little look at these because I know Creed 3 is coming out soon. I've never seen any of the Creed films. So I got Creed 1, which was 10.99. So I thought that was a good deal with a slipcover. So I haven't seen it. I think I started watching it a long time ago when it first came out, but um, I had to stop for whatever reason. But I do like boxing movies. I love Rocky. So why I haven't seen these movies is a mystery to me. But with the third one coming out now, I'm definitely going to check that out. So that was ten ninety nine, and then we got part two as well for the same price. So that's twenty two pound for both Creed. It's not bad. I know you can get that sort of um, nice uh, steel book that's out there with them both in, but um, I'm happy to keep it cheap this time round. So that's Creed two. Alright then, so that's it for my HMV haul. Thanks for watching the video and I'll catch you soon. Cheers.